Well, first of all, this conversation is based on the assumption that there is a surety company for each joint venture partner involved in the project. A joint venture only makes sense where you have phases of a contract where one contractor has significant expertise and the other contractor has significant expertise in the other piece. For example, roads, projects where there may be significant bridge work. So therefore, the project has to make sense. From a surety perspective, the surety company is gonna look at uh, the financial capacity of each joint venture partner. So the surety company for one contractor is going to want to look at the financial position, condition, experience of the joint venture partner and vice versa. From the standpoint of the joint venture itself, again, it has to make financial sense because of the fact that you have joint and several liability. So therefore, if one joint venture partner does not hold up their end of the deal and the performance or the payment of the project, then all of a sudden the other joint venture partner finds themselves in a very difficult situation.